What a joy and honor for Dr. D and I to be back with you. We are so pumped. You know, babe, we're living in a day where we're seeing so much accomplished. It's like there's an acceleration button on the kingdom of God. Everything's on the fast track. It is. God's doing such. Uh, Dr. D and I was ministering in the state of Tennessee recently in uh, the presence of the Lord had just, you got singing that old song, It Is Well. Amen. The band was cranking with you and the presence of God filled the house. And, you know, and so after, I, then I stepped right up behind you. You had that big wave of the presence of God going, so I just stepped up on it. But, uh, and I, I, I'm feeling what I felt. And the Holy Spirit just set out of my spirit it's a defining moment for God's people. Right. It's, a, it's an unusual, uncommon moment right. for you as a believer in the kingdom. There is something that's beyond the explanation of my limited vocabulary to tell you. God is up Praise to God. something awesome. And so I started to leave the service after I made that statement, preached the little message, and Bless the people and was walking out and a lady that's a leader there reached over and touched me and said, I just want to tell you something. I've been suffering for a long time mm-hmm. in my body. Mm-hmm. And she said, when you said this is a defining God moment right. for somebody, right. she said, instantly I received it by faith. My body began to tingle. Mm-hmm. And she said, for the first time in a long time, I have yeah. no pain in my body. I just have that same feeling, honey, that God's up to something very powerful in this time we have together with these right. precious people. Right. I just, I encourage you, release your faith. And uh, if you need us to communicate with you, then please go to coybarker.com, dbarker.com. We are seeing right now such a sovereign move of God. Praise God. And we have through our years in the kingdom, decades of ministry all over the world, we have seen some uncommon blessings come on God's people. Healing, God. restoration, their Thank brokenness you. restored, just wonderful things happen. So the very reason that we're here is for you. We want to see the hand of God Reach and touch that area of your life where you need him to do something supernatural. We believe that all things are possible right. if you're a believer. All things. Right. Not some things, all things. Jesus and said all things are working together. Oh yes. For our good. No matter what it looks like, and it may not feel good at the time. Mm. But he's working all things together for our good. I, I believe there's something. I, I feel an undercurrent of the Holy Spirit moving to help you. Somehow or another, you flipped across the channel. You stopped a moment. And Thank the Holy Father. Spirit you, is wanting Thank to you, express Jesus. the goodness of God into your life. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what you're... I, I really don't care what your past or present is. I believe that the blood of Jesus, the power of God, is present right now to change your life. You. And I, I, I really feel such an unction and anointing as we're starting. It's, it's a little bit uncommon for a program to start like this, but I feel like it's a God appointment that God prearranged Thank this you, moment Thank you, for us to be together. And uh, these wonderful friends here at this ministry that are producing this, is they are in tune. You can feel it when you walk in. You, yes, I yes. felt it in the studio the moment I stepped in here today. Yes. There is a special anointing presence of Jehovah that God has prepared just to minister to your life, to your family. This is a moment when God's going to do uncommon things. 
You know, babe, you were just saying about f sensing an undercurrent. And, um, you know, I just want to say to someone that whatever the enemy may have sent to take you under, God is going to raise you above that. Awesome. And that's going to be the very awesome. thing that catapults you. Speak you will, that. the waves sent to take you under will be the waves that you ride into your best days. The Lord spoke to me this morning. He said, your ladder will be greater. Haggai 2.9. Hallelujah. He said, your ladder will be greater. And I just want to tell someone today that greater is coming to your address in Jesus' name. I believe that. And I, you know, D and I just want to, really open our heart to you. That's the reason we're here. We're here just, we're very transparent people. If we're in a restaurant, we hug people. If we're in the mall, we hug. We're, we, we believe that we should be the same right. seven days a week. Right. And we are thankful that you've opened your heart as a friend, reaching for the things of God. Because I want to tell you, God saw your faith right. and is reaching to change your life. The Holy Spirit kept bringing to me, and, and this, this is the final authority. Of everything right. we do, this is the final authority. And God kept taking me to a little scripture. Most of you know this story. Uh, the city of Samaria was closed up, an impossible situation. The enemy surrounded them. They were outnumbered. There was four lepers outside the closed gate to the city, and they were starving to death to the point, such famine, they started killing their babies and eating their babies. That's how horrible the famine was. The Bible said God spoke to the prophet Elisha. And Elisha said in 2 Kings chapter 7, verse 1, Elisha said, Hear you the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. And I just want to say, first of all, D and I are not here except to give you a thus saith the Lord. Amen. That's the only reason we're here. Amen. And he said, Thus saith the Lord, tomorrow about this time, yeah. a miracle is going to happen and the famine Praise will God. be over. Praise God. Something in my heart says to tell you there is coming a move of God that in a moment's time, a sudden, a sudden lead, a sudden shift is going to happen in your life. You, and Jesus. God's going to change things so dramatically until he will get all the glory. Yeah. And I just want to say this to you because I think it's so important that we understand God moments come like this moment right now for you. Right. The Bible said this is a, a God Lord. moment, a Kairos moment, yes. the Greek yes. says, a moment where God opened the window and asked you with an invitation by the Holy Praise Spirit, God. step Praise into God. this miraculous presence Jesus. of God, Thank no matter Jesus. where you're at, hotel, your home, wherever you're at, God is present to make a change in your life. And what has been like a, a bondage, what has been like a, a heavy weight on you, suddenly I sense the Spirit of God saying to announce to you, just like Elisha did, a change is coming that's going to rearrange your whole life. And God, by His Spirit, is going to make a radical move so that you know He loves you. Amen. And I just think that's so awesome, honey, for us to help the people to see how much God loves them, yes. how much He cares about them. And so for, for hours, I've been feeling this. A couple of days, I've just been feeling there is such a sovereign move of God. It's not something that some person does. And I, I just want to give you a one-liner. We can just get it on the screen. But I just want you to lock your faith into this because this is what the Lord said. The invisible gives birth yes. to the visible. The invisible, your faith, your confidence, your reaching, to an almighty God gives birth to the visible, Amen. to what you need to happen Amen. in your life. 
D and I have lived long enough, served God throughout the nations of the world, long enough to tell you there is nothing that you're facing right now that's impossible. You say, well, how do I step into that destiny? How do I step into that miracle? How do I step into what God has for me? Well, that's really what's in our heart today is to give you just a few little steps to step into the presence of Jehovah. And the first thing is you have to understand that transitions don't come at comfortable times. It wasn't comfortable in Samaria. They were desperate. They were destitute. It was crisis. So transition comes many times at a critical time Mm -hmm. or season in your life. I remember so very well in my life when I've been faced with difficult, hard places, it wasn't easy for me to step into that supernatural. So I want to tell you first and foremost that God is going to help you just like he did the people in this book in an impossible situation to release your confidence in God, your trust in God. You know, honey, people always ask me about faith because I know faith is the currency of the kingdom. Right. To me, faith is just a confidence that God's going to do what he said he's going to do. Right, right. And you know, you were talking about the the transition, and I think it's so important, as uncomfortable as it is, that we remain loyal to that process of transitioning because it's through the process that we really learn who we are and who he is. Yes. And um, I think breakthroughs come through our times of transition, through that process. Oh, yes, they do. And I think it's so important that we stay right where we're at and we do not move until we have a word from God and he says, now it's time to move. That's the next point that I, you know, to help people step into their destiny. I think they have to become attuned to a God word being spoken mm-hmm. to them. When Elisha in 2 Kings 7, 1, when he spoke, right. it changed the atmosphere. Right. It right. created mm-hmm. a moment. Mm-hmm. And I think it's so important that you understand that D and I are not here just by happenstance, that this is a God moment that you and I have gotten together by the hand of God, and the Lord has big plans for your life. Right. So when this word comes from Dr. D and I, into your life, it's like the word that Elisha spoke and said, this time tomorrow, things are going to look real different. Even though it looks impossible, yes. looks like yes. there is no hope, yeah. just a word from God can change your life. Yes. And so we come as carriers of the word of God. And I, I, I think that I want to put another one-liner out because I want you to grasp this. You have to get free from Mm -hmm. self-imposed limitations. Sometimes we're harder on ourselves than anybody else. Absolutely. And I want you to shake off, in the name of Jesus, all of those self-imposed limitations. I can't do this, or I can't do that, or I can't do something else. I want you to step by this word from God. I believe that a God word is a bridge. Right. You step onto that bridge. You step into your destiny of a healing, a miracle, family, problems resolved, situations change. And so I think it's very, very important that you step into that. And, and listen, one of the things I've learned about the kingdom of God God will interrupt our plans. That's right. Yes, he will. Won't he? Yes, he will. God will interrupt our plan. Yeah. I was never forget the before you and I got together and uh, created a God relationship. I stepped into your church. That's right. In South Florida. That's right. Just there to minister for my friend who was the pastor. And in a moment's time, right. There was a divine interruption. Yes, there was. Because God connected us. Thank God. 
And what a joy. For divine interruptions. What a joy. <laughs> so God has sent D and I into your life as a divine interruption with a God word to tell you change has come into your life. You may have looked at it, you may, Thank but there's you, a Jesus. new season. Thank I you, feel Jesus. that so Thank strong. You, there's a new season. Let's, let's put another one liner up there. Unexpected doors shall open to you with supernatural increase, with great increase. I just feel it. I know it. Something awesome is opening right now. Some of you have been concerned about a closed door. Well, don't worry about the closed door. That just kept you from some trouble and right. some pain. That's right. But right now there's a big door. 1 Corinthians 16, 9 says it's an effectual door. It's an effective door. Thank it's a supernatural Jesus. door that God is opening to your life. Now, God will always use uncommon people in unusual ways. The thing that I've learned, you can't never... I, I remember so very well my first encounter with prophets that understand the voice of God, that speak from the altar of God. I, I, was, I wasn't expecting because their outer being did not tell me what was going on inside. Mm -hmm. It was a little grandmother, 82 years old, that said in my middle age, God would give me a son that would have a double portion of what I have. Right. And next thing I know, you and I connect. You have a seven-year-old son. Now he pastors the church that you and I started. That's right. So I wasn't expecting that from that little grandmother, 82 years old, who had a word from the altar mm -hmm. that changed my life. Mm -hmm. And so I just want to say to you, you may be thinking, well, I just tuned into this program. No, God destined you to connect to this moment. And listen carefully. Fight off the fear. The Bible said that these uh, four lepers, uncommon, unusual people, outside, right. could not connect right. to people, but they became the bridge, yeah. honey. They became yep. the supernatural pathway into the presence of God. See, D and I are in your life just as everyday people, but doing an uncommon thing because we've come with a God word which has the power to transform and change everything that it touches. The Word of God is alive, Thank you. carries power Thank you, to change Thank your life. Lord. So D and I have come with a God Word to see your life yeah. changed yeah. supernaturally. So I want you to get it and grab it. Amen. 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 Yeah. You know, babe, I think that uh, we're living in a time where this is how the Lord said it to me, that there are doors of access wow. that are tied to my name. Wow. Open doors, open doors of access that are tied to your name, to your name. That's awesome. You know, and we just have to just understand that your name is going to open doors because of the favor of God wow. that is upon your life. Because of the favor of God upon our lives, the Lord is opening doors. Yes. And I just think that is so awesome if we can just grab hold of yes. that, that our door, there are doors opening, effectual doors, Hallelujah. big doors Hallelujah. that are opening that have access because our names are attached to it. God already pre-planned it. He pre-planned it. Predestined it. He worked it all out just for these people. Yes, he has. And see, you got, you've got to realize the same God that loves D and I loves you. Mm -hmm. The same God that wants to help us is going to help you. Mm -hmm. And all he's asking for, you know, when I look at these, this scripture here in 2 Kings 7, and I look at those four lepers, the one thing that pops out to me, they were willing to take a risk yes. of faith. Yes in order not just to save their life, right. but the possibility of yep. saving yep. the city right. of Samaria. Some of you got to realize what the Holy Spirit's asking you to do is for you to take a step of mm -hmm. faith, the risk of faith, step into the supernatural of God. Maybe you've never responded or reached out 
to somebody like D and I. I want you to do it. Pray. That's why that little coybarker.com, dbarker.com is there at the bottom of the screen. We want to hear from you. Yeah. We promise that we will lay our hands on your needs and we will respond to you. Mm -hmm. Not somebody, not some staff person. D and I will respond to you because we care about you, your family, and your future. Mm -hmm. And so I want you to understand that. See, radical faith action. Let's, let's just get another one-liner on there. Your radical faith, babe, mm -hmm. mine and your radical faith, will beat the odds. Mm -hmm. The odds oh, was yes. against the four lepers. The odds was against the prophetic word that Elisha gave here in 2 Kings 7. But God specializes in beating the odds. Yeah. And I just want to tell you, I believe if you'll be a risk taker and you'll step out of your comfort zone, mm -hmm. you'll step into the supernatural, you will be amazed how quickly, Thank because you, we're living you, in a season of acceleration, yes. how quickly that God will begin to move mm -hmm. for your life. So I want you to take that radical faith of God, that trust in God, that God has already given you as a believer faith. It's in you. And I want you to take that faith, begin to operate your mouth according to your faith, speak what God says, decree what God says, expect what God yes, says, yes. do what you haven't done before. Praise do what God. you haven't done before. Thank Do you. something that you've never done. See, I believe that risk takers are people that refuse logical thinking. Risk takers are those that never give up. They never let go. They keep on moving forward. They step one step at a time into the supernatural. And I know that risk takers are people that the negative opinions of other people or small thinkers yeah. cannot stop them. Yeah. I remember when God, I'm from a little tiny town of 2,000 people, born and raised in a little tiny town in Oklahoma of 2,000 people. We had one red light in the town. Half time it didn't work. And so I was born and then to abject poverty, mm -hmm. live below the tracks. But one day I got a word from God that said to me, to me, spoke to me, I have come that you might have life, life. Yes. the life of God. Yes. I don't see God broken. I don't see him limited. I don't see him backed into a corner. Right. I don't see him beat up That's with right. situations. Right. I could have the life of God and have it more abundantly. Yes. Something happened the moment I received that John 10, 10 into my life. Something took place that I can't explain to you, but suddenly I began to realize, that, and let me just deal with one more one-liner. There is a place, I want you to hear this clearly, there is a place yes. of no more limits or restrictions. Yep. There is a place. Yep. And I believe God, babe, has brought yep. these people yes. to that place so you and I could build a bridge for them to step into a new address yep. where you can be healed, you can be blessed. The Bible said, God said it so clearly in Jeremiah 29, 11. He said, my plans, my thoughts, yes, my Jesus. desire for you is that you might have a good thank life you, you. and that your hope may become a reality and that your future may prosper. Now, I didn't say that. God's eternal word. Again, D and I face our entire world on this book right here. We've learned if God says it, that settles. Yeah. And so we believe that when God gives a prophetic word, when God gives a word from heaven, you move with that word, God's going to change everything. So the reason we ask you, and, and we even have a beautiful little devotional, 30-page devotional, 
Go to CoyBarker.com or DBarker.com. It's free. You download it. For 30 days, it's proven that if you do something for 21 days, it changed your life. So we, we put 30 chapters that will help you. We want you to yeah. go there. You know, I think that God is just flexing his muscles in everything that tries yes. to come against us. Yes. His word is just time after time where he's flexing his muscles, his power and his authority in our lives. If we'll just take our hands off, let God be God, let God do it the way that he's destined yes. to do it and give him permission to show himself strong, My God. mighty in our behalf. It'll be done. Yes, it will. And, and what happened when those four lepers, uncommon people, got into the enemy's camp? God had already scared the enemy. Right. The armies that were so big right. and powerful ran away, left all their food, left all their gold, their diamonds, their silver, everything they owned, they yep. left it. Yep. That was the answer for Samaria, where Elisha had said, this time tomorrow. Yes. And the miracle happened. The famine was stopped. And God worked Praise a miracle. Praise God. Praise right God. Right now, the Spirit of God's moving Thank for you. you Dee and I are going to touch and agree. Father, the by the authority Jesus. and Thank power you. of Jesus' name, release your people. This time tomorrow, it'll look totally different. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. I want you to know that we love Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you, pastors who are responding, who would like for Dee and I to help you with setting structure, helping you break barriers. Thank all of you spiritual sons and daughters that are connecting. Great days are ahead. We want you to know that we love you. God's plans are bigger and better than you can even imagine. Bye-bye.